I'll show you the best way to mix a complete rap song, including the beat and the vocal. Because a lot of you guys, you make songs like this. Ballin' like curry. We are in the studio right now, and I will be working on this project. It's basically just a beat that I produce and my vocals right here. All I'm going to be doing right now is drag the beat and the vocals onto the mixer channel. So I'm gonna highlight them on the channel right. Go on the mixer channel, right click, channel routing, starting from this track. If we look at everything, all the sounds and volume is default. Channel right, everything is default. There are no effects on the beat. There are no effects on the vocals. Here is a quick preview of the beat we're working with. Now is the time to actually go and mix the song. First thing I do is something called gain staging. We're doing this step just really to have the cleanest possible mix. So the first thing we're going to do is bring every single one of these sounds to around minus 12 dB. We're just bringing all the sound to the same level so that there's not like one sound that is louder than the other. So the first thing I'm gonna do is the loop. So as you can see, it peaks at six, right? So I'm gonna reduce it until it peaks at 12. Peaks at 12, so now we're going on the second loop. The second loop is the same thing, but we'll add effects later on to make it different. So we know it's around minus 50, 53%. Now it's time for the 808. Do that for each individual sound. Now the clap, the snare. <coughs> Damn, bro. Coronavirus! So now we just finished gain staging the beat, but let's do the same thing with the vocal. How to clear up on my how to make it. This is just the first step, right? It's really not mixed now. You have the hi-hats that are as loud as the 808s. It's really not good. Once you properly understand what I'm showing you right here, listen, bro, as soon as you release your song, you want to be clapping and shit. It's actually time to add our EQ and effects on the vocals and on the beat. You want to turn your master channel all the way up. It's simply to guarantee that we have enough headroom. For me on the beat, first thing I'm going to be doing is just add an EQ right here. I'm just going to be cutting a little bit of the low end. Because I'm using the same loop, I don't want it to be too repetitive. I'm gonna do another EQ on the second loop uh, where I'm just gonna cut the high end because it's gonna do this sort of background subtle effect, which is pretty cool. Like this, it's pretty cool. Now it's time to mix the vocals, which is pretty fucking dope. I like it. It's like a prison in my mind, like a jail, sale. I speak my truth, put it on God, I ain't gonna fail. All right, bro, this shit is fucking trash. It's, it's trash and it's tragic. By the way, I'm gonna try my best to mostly use stock plugins so that you can still follow this tutorial and have this exquisite sound. You know what I'm saying? Exquisite. So first thing I'm gonna do is auto-tune. This is not a stock plugin, but you can use picture. It's a free auto-tune you can use on FL. What matters is that it's on key with the song. Yeah, say I speak my truth, put it on God, I ain't gonna fail. On another channel, Mixer 16, I'm gonna come here, hold control, left click. I'm gonna route this vocal channel to this channel. The reason I'm doing that is to use this channel 16 as the main channel where I'm gonna add the EQ, the compressor. First thing I do when we mix vocals, I add a multi-band compressor. I'm just gonna stop where it sounds good. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna change anything here. Let's go on the high end. The next thing I'm gonna be doing is adding a fruity EQ. First EQ we add is to just take off the frequencies that sound like shit. It's like a prison in my mind, like a jail cell. You see here, bro, it sounds like you're in a box or some shit, bro. Like, yo, this is not good, bro. So we're gonna take off around like minus 2 dB. We do some shit like this. It's like a prison. Ooh, this is not good, bro. I was trying to do it right, but and then just to finish things up, I'm just gonna bring the, the shit fucking it's high. Like a prison in my just cause at really high frequency, just to make it sound a bit clearer. Uh around here like 1600 1500 next thing we're going to be doing is to add a fruity compressor fruity compressor ideally bro you want to have like better compressor than that but you know what this does the job that's all you got that's it is what it is bro bro these vocals man so we added this fruity compressor right here Next thing is to add a maximus. We're just gonna play around the high, the mid, the low, the master. We're gonna let it default. Had to clear up on my mind. Was trying to be painless, but he don't understand. He starts up in my brain. Okay, next I'm gonna be adding another EQ. I was trying to go make it rain. I did some time. I had a change. So next thing I'm going to be doing is adding a sound goodizer. Put that shit on your 808s, kicks, clap on your loop, 
on anything. Okay, probably not on all that, but Sound Godizer is really good. All these four options do different types of effects. I'm going to be using the A option first. Right here, it sounds good. So I'm going to add another Sound Godizer on a different preset to find a good balance between the two. Next, I'm going to add another compressor. Something that is a little bit louder. It knocks a little bit more. But it don't understand. These thoughts up in my brain. It hits a little bit harder. It really gets the fucking vocal up to your face. Like, you can't miss it. You know what I'm saying? Next, I'm going to be adding a fruity limiter. We're only going to be using the compressor side of it, which is right here. Limiter and compression. I did some time. I had a change. Summertime, I can't remember last time that we talked. I'm all alone by myself. Last plugin I'm going to be adding is not a stock plugin, but it's so essential. It's a de-esser. Is to take off all of the S's because when you compress and add all these EQs and this, the sound goodizer and all that, all the S's become a lot louder and it's so annoying. You can do the same thing with Maximus. For the sake of this video, I'm just gonna use a de-esser because it's just way simpler and it does the job better. But he starts up in my brain, got me hopeless. I was working overtime, I had to make it Now, I'm gonna add the reverb and delay We don't have space anymore to add them here I'm gonna come here at the bottom I'm gonna hold control and left click on this next Insert 17 And I'm gonna add a reverb and uh, a delay I'm gonna be adding my H delay Because I just prefer this delay But you, you can copy those specific delay on delay 2 right here You know, it's the same thing exactly I'm gonna be using a 1 4th Take the feedback a little bit down but he's but he's up in my brain, got me hopeless. Already, this is way too much delay So I'm gonna reduce here. I was working overtime, I had to make it, had to clear up all my mind Around like this But it starts up in my brain, got me hopeless When you add reverb, make sure you don't fucking put too much reverb Yeah, it sounds good and shit But when you put too much reverb, it actually makes the beat sound terrible, bro It sounds trash it's like a prison in my mind, like a jail. I like it like this. All I added on channel 15 is the auto tune. That's it. Then I routed channel 15 to channel 16, where I added all my compression, EQ. Then I routed this channel 16 to channel 17, where I added reverb and delay. If we just listen to the vocal, this is what we get. It's like a prison in my mind, like a jail cell. I speak my truth, put it on God, I ain't gonna fail. Let's hear it without effects. It's like a prison in my mind, like a jail cell. I speak my truth. Come on, bro. We can now move to the next step, which is level each individual sound to a point where it sounds good. So I'm just going to start with the 808s here. Then I'm going to bring in the clap. I usually always want to make sure the 808 or the kick, if you're using a kick, and the clap to be usually the loudest instrument of the beat. Okay, so now let's bring in the melodies. Okay, so I actually like the beat at those levels right here. You know what I'm saying? So you just go one at a time. Next, I'm gonna move to the, the sound effects that I have. So here. Now it's the vocals. Let's add the vocals. All I'm doing is bringing the vocals to a point where it sounds good with the beat. That's it. I speak my truth, put it on God, I ain't gon' fail. I was trying to do it right, but they gon' tell. I had no money, so I was stuck. But this shit is kind of hitting, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, we finna be clapping in cheeks. All I want to do is just hear the full song, you know, get that shit ready to be published, bro. You know what I'm saying, bro? We're not entirely done, there's still a step that is quite important in my opinion. As you remember, I told you to put the master all the way up. When we reset it back, we automatically gain our headroom. Which means now, we can come through on the master. I'm gonna be using the Isotope Ozone 5. Ozone 5 is just easier, but you can do the same shit with fucking limiter, bro. All it does is just bring all the volume of the song louder and higher. And bigger and crispier and it hits. Hell, I was trying to find a way to make it out, bitch. But he's such up in my brain, got me hopeless. I was working overtime, I had to make it. Had to clear up all my mind, was trying to be painless. Once you followed all the steps, all that is missing. Bro, listen to the final song. Let's listen to them on speaker. Now it's time to hear, like, yo, is this song really hitting or it's fucking trash, bro? <laughs> Peace. 
like shit on this mic sorry bro ten dollar microphone <laughs> but yo on this speaker bro i'm gonna keep it real with you it sounds exquisite if i helped you clap more cheeks bro man you welcome bro you family bro it's for you dog you know fuck it's for you bro you know what i'm saying yo get, get. this song is crazy yes sir okay bro it sounds like shit on this mic Hey bro, I'm happy I got to show you these tricks, you know what I'm saying? Top secret, confidential, but you know what I'm saying? I gotta share the sauce because I don't want to get lost in the sauce. I gotta be in the sauce. So you want to be in the sauce? Drop a like and subscribe. Gang shit, bro.